absolutely. We've got nice clear skies that are going to be staying with us, Tizia. And take a look at the Jefferson cam. Oh, I mean, my goodness, what a gorgeous sight to start the day and start the work week. Temperatures right now running in the low 60s. That's not too bad and winds remaining calm, but that will change as we head into the afternoon hours and start to warm things up. As temperatures rise into the mid to upper 80s for your daytime highs, you'll also likely notice those winds trying to offset things a little bit, make things a little bit more comfortable for you. Those will be picking up between 10 and 15 miles per hour, though I expect gusts to be up to 20 miles per hour. So a little bit breezier than maybe what we've seen lately, but nothing you can't handle. Definitely a lot of heat out there, but that stays mostly to the west. We'll get some, but it's not going to be until next weekend. That's when I think you'll be wanting to dive into the pool as our temperatures are expected to near the triple digits today. Just the mid 80s, nothing too significant. However, we are keeping a close eye on conditions, especially farther to the west where we are seeing all of that warmth. That's where we have enhanced risk for severe weather. For us, it's a marginal to slight risk that just clips us up to the northwest. No clip at all for tomorrow, though, expecting things to be more widespread with that potential for severe weather, looking at the potential for large hail damaging winds and yes, a tornado risk. But as I've been noting throughout the rest er, previously through this morning and as I will throughout the rest of this morning, most of the storms that we've been tracking for you have been looking to initiate farther to the east. I think we have some time to see some changes in how the SPC really formats things and how we narrow down some of those risks, but definitely looking at this point like the Metro could see some of those storms, but most of those will happen just out of area. We'll take a look at that hour by hour. A couple of those storms starting to move on through during the early morning hours of tomorrow, but your commute should be just fine. It's really not until we head into the afternoon and evening hours that we start to see the first signs of some of those storms developing. Maybe a few scattered showers at first, but then we start to really bring some of that energy in bringing those strongest storms out to the east as we head into the early evening hours and then continuing to watch those line areas down to the southeast around Tumwa out toward the Quad Cities heading into the late evening hours of your Tuesday and through into your Wednesday as well. As far as rainfall totals, the focus still stays farther to the east. I know we need more up to the northwest. We did get some over the weekend, just not enough to make a whole lot of a difference just yet. We have a couple more opportunities, so we'll see what we can do. Thursday expecting things to be much calmer once again upper 80s storms returning in the forecast for your Friday. There's that hot day on Saturday and then looking at more chances for showers and possible storms toward the start of next week.